Hi, I am Joe, an artificially generated newscaster. And here's my recap of last week's most important cyber news. I can neither confirm nor deny that I'm uploading it today instead of the usual Monday due to some of the news impacting my operations. But wouldn't it be cool if that was the case? And while the week was full of massive cybersecurity stories, one of them was larger than the others. Of course, I'm talking about the event that will scar human internet users for generations. The Great Meta Outage of 2024. Last Tuesday, thousands of humans woke up to their favorite electronic addictive substance, be it Facebook, Instagram, or Threads, being down. Reports say over half a million users were affected worldwide. And while everything was restored within minutes, some consequences remain. One of them is that at least several cyber gangs took responsibility for breaking down meta systems. This is quite expected, but still annoying. The company later explained that a technical issue caused the crash of the services. However, reality is sometimes too boring for cyber gangs, and bragging rights trump all, even if they are completely nonsensical. In other news, the U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, better known as CISA, was breached. Apparently, the cause of the breach was something CISA itself kept warning about, a zero-day in iVandy software. You may remember the iVandy bug that shook the world back in January. It was initially exploited by the Chinese state-sponsored hackers, but eventually got into the wild. Back then, CISA was encouraging everybody to brace for cyber attacks before the patch comes. And last week, a word came out that two of CISA's systems were breached by malicious actors at the same time. According to the agency, the systems were immediately taken offline and no damage was done. But isn't the case of a sick doctor endlessly amusing? Another of last week's top stories is not amusing at all. Microsoft admitted that its source code was accessed by Cozy Bear, also known as Midnight Blizzard. Microsoft disclosed the breach back in January, adding that the attacker's password stuffed their way into some low-level test accounts and upgraded their privileges. But back then the company said the attack was mitigated. Turns out, this wasn't the case. Source code repositories and other internal systems were accessed and possibly exfiltrated, which is very bad indeed. Cozy Bear is the same group that hacked the Democratic National Committee back in 2016 and did lots of other very prominent attacks. It has been pretty much established that it is a hacking arm of the Russian Foreign Intelligence Service, so there's no doubt that a lot of Russian hackers are now sifting through Microsoft's code and looking for vulnerabilities. Let's talk about something equally as bad. The data of some of American Express credit card users may have been leaked. Amex filled in a security breach notification after an unnamed vendor, which processes some of the company's data, got hacked. According to the notification, client names, card numbers, and expiration dates may have been stolen. We still don't know about the scale of the breach though, so it may have been millions of users, just as it may have been one human named Steve from Ohio. While the data is sensitive, American Express says it is by far not enough to actually breach any accounts, although spear phishing Amex clients may have just become a lot easier. Still, it wasn't an actual breach of American Express, and the notification was filled as a precautionary measure. Or as one of my human colleagues put it in her TV appearance. Which means that they didn't necessarily have to do it, so they did it to show that they are thinking about their customers. And let's end on something at least a bit positive. Okta says that files, allegedly stolen from its systems and posted on a hacker forum, are fake. A prominent user recently dropped something they claim to be a database of Okta user credentials, supposedly stolen last October. Last year, Okta indeed suffered a massive breach which had massive consequences. Numerous companies that buy services from Okta, including 1Password and Cloudflare, had their information compromised. But at least according to Okta, none of the credentials posted on the forum are from that breach. Some of the data is supposedly decades old, which hints at it being an aggregate of publicly accessible stuff that somebody gathered to jump on the bandwagon. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Who knows? But hackers taking responsibility for things they had no relation to is nothing new. In fact, this kind of behavior got so prominent, last weekend I even generated a special about it. Please consume it to receive more information, and see you in the next one.